Hej, jag ska till Modum Bad i morgon och tränger en taxi från Vikersundbussterminal. I am hot. <laughs> I'm like sweating. <laughs> she was kind though. <laughs> I don't think it's the first time she has had some very nervous to call us. <laughs> ah. Gah. <laughs> Oh, I'm all sweaty. God damn, but I did it. <laughs> uh, imagine being this <laughs> upset just because of a phone call. <laughs> I'm scared. Before I'm leaving, I'm leaving tomorrow morning at seven, and my stomach hurts. <laughs> my stomach hurts. Oh. I didn't think I was nervous, but I'm so nervous. This is like I've been waiting for this for so long. All the hospitalizations, like at the psychiatric hospital last year, and now seven weeks in like a different place in Norway. I feel like I wouldn't be as scared if it was like in Oslo, but it's just like somewhere else. <laughs> I'm gonna try to sleep, but I don't think I will manage. So I might put on some of some mom. El Paul, I told. <laughs> Are they spot on? Yeah. We made it to Vikersund, finally we made it. No, no, I don't know where that is. I think it's him who is standing there. doctor's appointment and a psyche psychologist appointment i was so not in touch with myself during that psychology appointment i wasn't like normal do you realize i was like just numb like it didn't feel real in a different way i'm here there's very strict corona rules so we only get to use like the side doors and we eat up where we were at a time i think because uh, I don't remember them being like that the last time. But I hope I can just let my guard down with the psychologist because I am telling him stuff, I'm not lying, but it's just like I'm not in touch with my emotions at all. Like I'd be sitting there smiling while I was talking about like suicide. <laughs> I'm doing it again, goodness. That's weird. Anyways, uh, I'll give you a room tour. Here's the door and then here is a closet and the toilet. It's a nice shower actually. I appreciate this instead of like curtains, the mirror. It's a nice bathroom, not gonna lie. Oh my god, I'm so awkward. I'm always thinking everything I've done today. Stuff to hang stuff on. You can go and grab your own painting to hang up there. Oh. 
Oh my gosh, I don't even have social anxiety. Like acetate versus. Although he wanted to give it to me, but no. Um, but like I cannot imagine how scared the people with social anxiety are right now. Yeah, with so many people, and you have to talk with everyone. Like you have to talk with so many different nurses and treatment. You know, your treatment team and patient. And I'm like, I'm scared on their behalf. I did not bring a towel. There are towels. <laughs> I didn't see them because they were white. They don't look like hospital towels at all. Oh my gosh, I'm so awkward. How is this gonna go? so scared. I guess I'm scared. I meant to feel the emotions here. Oh I'm starting to get attention headaches. It's a quarter to two? No, a quarter past one. And um, there's nothing happening before 2.30 so that's good. <laughs> Normally, I wouldn't like to pack out for probably like a week's time. Maybe I would just keep it all in this suitcase, just all the time, because I always need to like be able to just get home, like get out of here whenever. But we're not doing that, so I'm gonna actually pack this suitcase out. <laughs> to the first group um it's like a group session only there is like information and then after that there is dinner and then i will go to and we have some kind of group thing after that as well then there is evening snack and then we'll see <laughs> i might then head in the shower and ride to my and sleep you know what i mean but, uh, we'll see <laughs> I'm back from group. I'm just gonna keep my jacket on because I have to leave for dinner. Don't mind me. My stomach hurts. Anyways, we got a pen, a book. They didn't say what this was for. So I'm just not gonna write in it until I can ask. And then a schedule, and I have to answer some questions online. So I'm going to start with doing that now. And there's a really cute letter from the people who were here the last time on our group. It was really nice. Just right now, <laughs> this sounds insane. It's like right now, I'm living my best life. You know, freaking kicking. So I just, but it feels like I'm traveling. I feel like I'm at a hotel. Then I'm gonna do like a film shoot and then we have like wall sheet meetings and stuff like that although that's not what we're doing at all that's gonna just kind of my mind I feel like when I'm like here in the bathroom I feel like I'm like on a film shoot somewhere I'm just overwhelmed but it's not that uncomfortable I don't know why I'm overwhelmed overwhelmed it's more like a understandable overwhelmed so also, I feel much more comfortable being here this time around because I've been so much impatient last year. So, 
I'm like way more used to it now. I I feel more socially like in place. I can like take a joke with the nurses and not feel like I want to cry. You know, if they joke with me, I can like take it. I don't know if that makes sense, but um, whisp I'm kind of like talking quiet because I don't know how soundproof the room is. So. But I bet you are. Back from the uh, second group meeting, I will use the information. I'm just, um, I'm just really tired, and I am terrified that this will not help me at all. down here in the first floor, everyone else is in, in the top floor, which is actually bad because I have a fear of like being floors up because just in case it fire or whatever, I will not like, like I feel safer down here, so in that sense it's bad because it should put me up in the second floor for that reason, but all of that, um, it's nice because then I can just like pop out because of Corona we're not allowed to go in there in the living room there so i have to go upstairs to the living room it's just a passage really it's like a it's a it's a wall no, no, a hall not a wall <laughs> my brain i don't know what's happening tomorrow let me check my so i finished uh, screening like you just answered like a ton of questions uh, i finished that and then so tomorrow there is breakfast at 8 25 it's really good 8 25 like i thought it was like gonna be 7 15 or whatever and then there is a group meeting stuffy thingy uh just half an hour and then we're gonna get it says getting a trigger screening thing so it's we're probably gonna write down our triggers and then it says to go around and look out for triggers or to go to uh, appointments and then there's lunch and then there is physical activity so some kind of workout and then there is appointments or trigger scouting <laughs> then there's dinner and then there's introduction with the uh, guys that are in the other group that's been there for a while then on Thursday there is breakfast and the same thing and then after lunch it's the same thing and then there's something called I am my plant so we're going to talk about like just how, is living, how it is living in this house or whatever then dinner and then the next morning it's breakfast Sure, it's really just the same thing. Oh, anyway, um, right now I'm kind of like, I don't know. Um, I talked to one of the other patients that had been on a four day, like, he like heal your anxiety in four days kind of thing, where they like do very serious exposure therapy and she's she'd actually like gotten more trauma from it. And it had been super difficult for her for like five years. And so I'm like, is this going to be one of those things, you know, like... Because you can't just put me put me on a metro and have me take it for 60 minutes and I will never go on that metro alone again without the trick again, you know what I mean? I just hope they know what they're doing. Um, literally just for the fact that it isn't that late yet, I'm going to jump in the shower because it's only 5 till 8 and normally at like the hospital, it's like after 15 minutes, I would, um, this is 
the psychiatric hospital to the, at the psychiatric psychiatric psych, blah, 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 at the psych, psychiatric unit at the like hospital hospital. There would be evening snack now, so I have like time, and then there would be breakfast at eight. So actually, it would be too early to go to bed now. And if I just jump under the bed, I'm gonna. I don't know. I'm just. I feel like I need a shower. But I'm gonna wash my body because it's been a really long day, and um, not any big panic attacks, but it's been a lot of anxiety. So, but I'm kind of nervous right now because I'm not feeling utterly shitty. You know what I mean? So I'm scared. That is weird. Why am I not feeling utterly shitty? Maybe it will come. I'm kind of like not really realizing what is happening yet. I'm away from home. I'm so far away from home. Oh my god, I've got a pain in my stomach just saying that. But it feels like I'm just like in the hotel and then I'm like just going to my therapy appointments. I don't know. <laughs> but I will see. I'll try my best, but um, I should definitely be eating more, but um, hey, at least I'm eating, you know what I mean? <laughs>